The extraction process is pretty much the same for all of our sample libraries. You'll download an engine RAR file and then one or more uh, samples RAR files as well. Now the reason that we keep these separate is so that if we release an update, you usually only have to re-download the engine files and that way you don't have to re-download all the samples as well. So it makes it a little more faster and uh, more convenient uh, by doing it that way. One important thing to notice about the RAR format um, is these samples are split into several parts and that makes downloading it more manageable. Uh, you don't have to worry as much about your download uh, finishing incomplete uh, and then ruining you know, multiple gigs worth of downloading. If one of the RAR files uh, has a problem, you can just go and re-download that single uh, RAR file. So on that note, after downloading um, all of the RAR files for the sample library, you should definitely go and double check that the file sizes match what's listed on the download page. So that being done, you can now extract the RAR files. And uh, the other thing that's important to notice about the RAR format is these multi-part RAR files right here, they're all part of the same RAR archive. And because of that, you only have to extract the first part. So to extract the library, it's really just as simple as selecting the engine files RAR file and the first part of the samples. And then I'm using WinRAR, so I can just right click and use the extract here option. And then it'll just go ahead and it'll extract all of the uh, engine files and the samples into the same folder. And that's because the folder is, you know, this uh, Evolution Flatpick 6 folder is inside of the RAR file itself. And that way you don't have to worry about it extracting files into uh, the parent folder and creating a big mess. So if I go into here, and I realize it's still extracting right now, but you can see all of these engine files, so the instruments, the documentation, demo songs, things like that are here. And we've also got the sample subfolder from the samples RAR files. And so right now that's extracting all of the NKX samples. So as I mentioned before, the process is pretty much the same with any of the other sample libraries. You just select these two, you know, the engine and the samples, right click and use the extract here. Now one common problem that I've seen is that people will go and they'll select them and they'll use the extract each archive to separate folder option you know, or the equivalent on Mac since I'm on Windows right now. And the problem with that is it creates two separate folders. It creates an engine folder and a samples folder. And the problem is if you load the instrument, it will not be able to find the samples. So you'll load it and contact will complain about not being able to find samples. So if that happens to you, all you really have to do, uh, if you don't want to have to extract everything again, is to, um, let's just cut this uh, Evolution Mandolin subfolder and we'll move it back to this main folder and then I'll go into the samples and I'll sort of do the same thing and, and take the uh, sample subfolder from that folder and move it back into this folder right here. And that way everything is where it needs to be. The samples are right here as a subfolder inside of the main Evolution Mandolin folder and that way if I load the instrument uh, in contact it'll be able to find all of the samples and everything will work fine. So, so anyway, that's one thing to uh, look out for. And uh, really the process is, is the same for any of these libraries. If you want to extract several libraries at the same time, just grab the engine file uh, and the first part of the samples for all of those libraries. And you can literally just go like that, right click, extract here and it'll create separate folders because as, as I mentioned before the uh, folder for the library is inside of the RAR file itself so you, you really don't have to worry about that and then it'll just go and it'll extract everything and then you're ready to go uh, from there you'll either add the library in contact or load up uh, native access and you should be able to install the library with your serial code and activate it all in one go so thanks for watching and I hope this uh, video helped and I'll see you in the next video.